Okay, so for the periodic table stick figure activity, the whole point of all this is to kind of show you how uh, early scientists went about putting together the periodic table and why they made the decisions that they did. So instead of looking at atoms or elements, we're gonna look at something a little bit more fun, some people may say, um, stick figures, and just kind of funny, crazy drawings. But they all have a couple things in common with one another. So our challenge is going to be to take this random set of pictures and to try and arrange it uh, in order based on similarities because that's really how the periodic table is set up it's based on similarities elements that have more in common with one another they're closer together on the table and elements that are farther apart they have maybe a little less in common with one another so uh, once you print all these sheets out um, this kind of puzzle piece sheet you're just gonna cut out all those squares and then kind of set them uh, to the side and I'll be honest when you look at that sheet, it is kind of overwhelming. You're like, where do I start? Well, what I would recommend is to lay all the pieces out, just like you would, you know, if you're doing a big jigsaw puzzle or something like that. And what you're looking for is the simplest one. Because when we look at the periodic table, it's kind of arranged from simplest atoms to more complex atoms. So if we can kind of find and start uh, with the simplest drawing, uh, then maybe we can start to see the pattern a little bit. So as I look at all this, I see there's different numbers of fingers, different numbers of arms, different hairstyles. Um, so I think, looking at all these, I believe this one is probably the simplest version. Okay, uh, so then the next simplest one person with one arm here, I think it's going to be that one, and after that, I don't know if we have any more single arm ones. Camera guy, do you see any single arm stick figures? No, no I right. don't. Yeah, I think now we move into two arms, but still simplest. I think that might be that one. And you can kind of continue on, and if you put all of these stick figures in order, and each one just gets a little bit more complex, maybe an extra finger or two, maybe something to do with the hair, maybe another arm, um, and you go from simplest to most complex, well, then you have everything arranged in that order, and then all you have to do is kind of arrange it just like the periodic table is. So your first two simplest, are going to go here and here, and then your third simplest is going to go here, and then you continue on until you get to the single most complex item. And when you're all done, you have all of these arranged, you should see some similarities between uh, not only all the atoms if you count them in order from 1 to 18, but also the, the uh, elements or stick figures when you look in a column, those should have some similarities, as well as when you look at uh, elements or stick figures that are found in the same row, those should have some kind of common elements as well. And that's really the idea behind the periodic table is it's arranged by commonalities, things that have things or properties or characteristics in common, they're close together or arranged in a way that they are near one another on the periodic table. Um, so once you get everything arranged kind of in this format, like you see here, then you can go ahead and glue or tape it down and uh, answer these couple follow-up questions just to kind of make a direct comparison between this made-up stick figure uh, periodic table and the real periodic table.